Hello YouTube! I'm Pinstar and this is Wingspan, episode 3 with the Oceania. Oce Oceania? I'm probably saying that wrong and I, I've, I, I've, I'm batch recording these, so uh, if you commented that I pronounced something wrong, I haven't seen it yet. But regardless, we are two for two on victories. Let's play. Another custom game. I like three opponents total because 1v1, the between turns birds are a little bit too weak, but with four or five, they become a little too strong. Three seems to be the uh, the sweet spot. Not to mention that gives it gives the game a chance for one of the two opponents to pop off and be a serious threat, depending on how, how they play it out. So that is why I, I routinely keep it at three. All right, we are going last, so we can't really count on the wetlands um, for a, an initial grab. Regardless, I'm still going to see what they're. Griffin Vulture's pretty good, actually, um, as long as somebody's playing that. House Sparrow. That's an endgame card, but if we can get that cooking early, um, depends on if we can get a, uh, a grain engine going. If we can get a grain engine going, then House Sparrow can carry us to victory. But that depends on what my initial draws are. Griffin Vulture is really good just for the fact that it doesn't require food. Oh yeah, uh, all right, so eggs in the uh, grasslands is gonna be a little tricky, depending. Although if we go the House Sparrow route, it's not. Birds worth less than three, or less than or equal to three points is, that's not too bad, actually. Birds in the wetlands and then eggs in the, wow, they want us all over the place. Ooh, a black vulture. That's two things that are, that cost no food. Oh, and there's our friend, the Dunnock. Um, wow. And then a mallard. Wow. Okay. What are what's our what's our uh, thing here? Birds. All right. Birds with predator powers. That's not bad actually. And cartographer. Um. So yeah, the black vulture is not actually a predator power bird. Um, the griffin vulture technically is not a predator power so we kind of hope if, if we're going to go this route the vulture route we really hope that somebody else is playing predators um but how can we not go for the dunnock that's too strong to ignore how could we not go for the mallard that's too strong to ignore we need something for the grasslands The Pippet's too, uh, I mean, Brewer's Blackbird's not too bad. That's a tuck and lay. It's hard to do a tuck and lay on the middle though, but we're getting extra cards from the Mallards. So, I mean, dare, dare I go four birds and one food. That's a little bit spicy, not gonna lie. I mean, we can get more food easily with the Black Vulture. We want to make sure we get the Dunnock down in the forest. So, yeah, it's just going to be tricky playing. But we have what we we have the component parts that we need. Ah, this I have I almost have, I I don't think I've ever done four birds one food but I think we can pull it off. And actually, if we can get the, if I'm feeling brave, we ditch the Brewer's Blackbird, we grab the Griffin Vulture um, and use that for our early play, but that might be getting a little bit greedy. But you know me, I like being greedy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it as is. Um, so the one food, what one food we want? Uh, we want a seed, and then for yeah. So again, the the black vulture doesn't actually have because you need the icon right here. Um, 
for it to count. The black vulture doesn't have it there, and the green griffin vulture doesn't have it there. So we technically have zero falcons. Now, yeah, we kind of want another player to get into to falconry, so I think we might have to go with that. But again, uh, brewers, black, mallard, not, none of our stuff counts for any of our stuff. But we, uh, for one thing's for sure, we don't have a grain engine, so... We're just gonna have to wing it with the cartographer, see if we can, cause we only need to get two birds for, for car, cartographer to trigger um, minimally. So that should be fine. And also I don't wanna be competing uh, for, um, for, the, for, for predatory powers uh, on the other birds. All right, here goes nothing. Now, do they keep the Griffin Vulture around? Because I think I might play the Mallard first, grab and try to grab the Griffin Vulture. Do we use... Hmm, no, I think we, we go with what we know we have. We'll... We need to pick up a little bit more food somewhere, but that way we know we'll have something. Mallards. Mallards are among the most abundant ducks in the world. Now let's see if we actually score our griffin vulture. Because if we do, that's that's huge. Because it's a free free bird in the in the grasslands, free birds in the forest, and we go from there. And then we can just pick up some food, get our dunnock. All right, never, never punished. Take our Griffin Vulture. Um, I don't think we can get into House Sparrow. We're not really set up for that. Blountain Bluebird. That's not. That's better late, later game. So we'll draw blind. Ooh. Well, hello there, Scaled Quail. And oh yeah, we get another. We get one more card for free. Common golden eye. They won on this bird for each other bird with a cavity nest. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, we do have some cavity nests. The um, black vulture is a cavity nest. That's not too bad. Not as productive as the Dunnock. Mind you, Bard Owl would be good too. But no, I think we drop the quail. Or we just draw from the deck. That works too. Ah, fish engine. If we can get a fish engine working, then that can score us some points. All right, we... Actually, no, we want to drop the Black Vulture now in case our opponents start having the, having uh, having Predator Birds that might get us a freebie. Then we'll take the stuff we need for the Dunnock. All right. Um, so we have one wild. So yeah, you know what? We, we take this, we take the, the Worm, and then we take one more Nectar. And now we can play the Scaled Quail, the Dunnock, <coughs> take some eggs, uh, play the Griffin Vulture. And then eggs in the, um, in here, that's not too bad. Also with this, with this thing feeding us, ooh, uh, feeding us cards, we can very much use the Blackbird. Brewer's Blackbird. I mean, if we play this first, first off, do um, do do any of our opponents have Predator Birds? Because that's going to affect my prioritization of the Turkey Vulture. 
no predator birds yet. So, sorry, no, um, the griffin vulture. So the griffin vulture is not that critical, at least not right now. So I think what we do, we need to prioritize getting more eggs in here. Um, although, no, we do still need to make sure the Dunnock goes down, even though it's in the wrong thing. Um, this is just pure egg benefits. So yeah, we, we go with the, with, the, with the original plan here. Drop the scaled quail, lay some eggs. Although, all right, so let's, we have four turns. Drop, if we, if we, Brewer's Blackbird, lay eggs. We have, we have one food. We, enough to play the quail. But then we need to go up here and get two more food. So, all right, one turn, play, play Blackbird. Second turn, lay eggs. Third turn, get food enough for the black uh for for the here fifth turn or fourth turn uh play the dunnock and then before the round end that works if we get the right food for the dunnock which since it has common food requirements is not too bad and in fact as soon as we know we could get the food for the dunnock we could get it now like for example we could right now just take food like take a um Take a wheat, re-roll, um, and then if we get a wheat or a worm or a nectar, then we're we're in the clear. And then now we know the rest of our round is is perfect. So yeah, let's do that. You're our wheat, re-roll, grab a nectar, we're in the clear. And then we can do the more aggressive route knowing that we're gonna get the Get the goodies. More cards from the deck. Tuck behind and tuck and draw. Um, yeah, you're probably gonna go into the uh, into the grasslands. That's gonna be our tuck engine right there. Bald eagle. I um, does bald eagle count as predatory? It, it does not. Okay. What did you play? You draw birds. That's fine. Okay, step two, we Brewer's Blackbird down here. And yeah, we use up our nectar. Next turn we do a bunch of eggs. Put them all on the blackbird actually. Just to get a little bit more qualifying in here. And then we use one of the eggs to play our Dunnock. And now we have more than enough cards. So what do we what do we tuck? I mean some of these are good. I don't see us getting into a uh, fish. I think we're going to be building our core synergy in the in the grasslands. So, which also means we might not want the turkey because it's not a brown power, and it's a little too early for the turkey. So we were going to fe feed it the turkey. So two eggs in the grasslands, not necessarily a guarantee, but it's worth it to play the dunnock to get a bunch of extra eggs. That way we don't need to actually take our, our grassland egg actions for a while until we've built it up to be more efficient. Heck, we might not even play the griffin vulture at this point. Um, no, I want you to use the worm and the nectar so that we have a uh, that for the scaled quail. I do want to play that. They, yeah, they only took one egg lay action, so we're going to get minimal benefit, but one egg, a free egg's a free egg. And tied for first. Not bad. I'll take two points. 
Barn Owl. Um, I think, does Barn Owl count as Predator? It does. Okay, we have a Predator on the board, which means Griffin Vulture actually does something, and potentially the other does. The uh, um, Black Vulture. All right, uh, Lazuli Bunting. No. Oh, a free egg factory is not bad, but again, I want uh, I want to keep the uh, the grasslands to be our our you know activated powers farm here. All right. Um, common golden eye is an interesting one. Especially since we're going to be playing another cavity nest here. So I think that becomes uh, two other cavity nests, which is not too shabby. Um, all right, we need we need more worms. We have enough eggs, so we need more worms. We also can sack a card for more food, which I think I will do. Uh, but what do I sack? We sack the pelican. And now we can get a worm. We can get that fish. We can get that another worm. Ooh, vulture actually pays off. Uh, yeah, I'll take another worm. Fantastic. Okay. Um. So the common golden eye, we need to get that down before the end of the round, but uh, we'll be fine otherwise. All right, we drop our scale quail. We will clear out the nest of the Dunnock first, and then we'll start clearing out the Brewer's Blackbird. Cause we got enough eggs to to play birds out here and birds worth less than three we're hitting that very nicely here so i am not worried about uh missing out on that particular one and if we get enough eggs we can get the griffin vulture down too Granted, uh, our birds in wetlands is going to be a little bit mad. Actually, I might put the golden eye down in the wetlands just to contribute towards that rather than up in the forest. I mean, we have enough for it. Might as well. We are going to need to do an egg lay action. Um, we're also going to need to do a car, take cards action to just make sure we have enough cards to make use of this because I don't want to sack our griffin vulture. I mean, we could. We could just sack it, draw another card, and then sack it to the blackbird if we ultimately want to just fish for other stuff. But either way, we play the golden eye. Um, the pheasant cuckoo is actually pretty good. The common cuckoo is also really good. on a bull or cluster nest. We have plenty of those. And actually I can stick that in the grassland, so. Although, now that I think of it, eggs in forest, Goldeneye would have been better up there. Oh, well. Oh. Um, can we get someone other than a Blackbird? Yeah. No, we don't want to lay it in the Dunnock. I'll 
Do we not have any other bull nests? We do not. Okay, that's fine. Blackbird's fine. Ooh, more food. Um, I don't know if it's safe to take. Is there something that we can... Worm? I mean, I do think we can get one of these two. Do a bowler cluster. Yeah, and I think the I think the cuckoo's a little bit better. So I think we can actually genuinely take a uh, a nectar here. It's a little risky. If 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 things go pear shaped, I might grab the ruddy duck and go and 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 try to flip it to that. Or we just use it to get an extra card. Actually, that could be that could be a thing. All right, we get extra cards, then we take extra food to play the card. I do kind of want these, yes. I mean, the ruddy duck actually makes a lot of sense too. I might take them both. The cuckoo, the ruddy duck, take eggs, play the ruddy duck. Because the cuckoo, the cuckoo is not one of the birds that worth less than three. Ready duck is. Although griffin vulture, we have three things. We take cards, play ready duck, play vulture. But we still need to lay eggs. That's the problem. We can't do that unless we take a lay eggs action. But we need to take cards in order to have stuff to pitch to this. Ah. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to take the extra. We're going to pay the nectar to take the extra card. We, we want the ruddy duck. We want the cuckoo. Black woodpecker? Eh. Uh, choose eh. Now, if we get another freebie egg from somebody, that changes the equation. Although Black Whippicker does have, all right, we got a free egg that changes the equation. And some free food that also changes the equation. Fantastic. Uh, what does the ruddy duck want? Um, I, either of those. So we'll go. We'll go wheat. Now we can play the ruddy duck and the griffin vulture. Well, no, because the ruddy the the griffin vulture will take up two eggs. But it's still worth it because we have other predatory birds. If we get a freebie egg, then never punished. And if we don't, then we just lay our eggs. Egg? Free egg? No free egg. That's fine. Because then we could play the ruddy duck. That's all right. Um, are there any emergency cards that we really need to grab? Not the bluebird, not the grosbeak. I think we just do a big egg lay here. Just to bide our time. Um, we've got a spare card. So we'll take the whip bird out. All right, yeah, one on the group. We, we just want to make sure we're not blocking any birds that have critical, um, critical, you know, like we'll have eggs put onto them from other sources. Um, I do kind of want the cuckoo. 
but I also kind of want the black woodpecker that helps our, our other bird out a little bit. And this actually can hold eggs, which will help our eggs in forest. Um, we're still whiffing on the cartographer. And I don't think any of these, yeah, any of these count. We're not going to be, unless we can get that Kiwi to swap out our bonus power. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Um, and also, do we still need the Ruddy Duck? Because we're going to miss out on playing it. I think it's too little too late, actually, for the Ruddy Duck. So we're going to pitch the Ruddy Duck. Uh, Rose Crested Gross, no. I think we're just going to draw a blind. The Willet kind of sucks, but that's okay. We will tuck the Willet down here and get a free egg. All right, three end of uh, round end powers. Um, yeah, two predator birds. So now, now that's becoming a pretty good. And the Dunnock, you took two grasslands actions, so you get two eggs. And then you get two eggs too. Fantastic. And yeah, most of our birds are worth less than three. So we, we absolutely dominated that category. All right, birds in the, let's see what we have on our new thing here. So the wren is good. Brown falcon's one of the new predator birds. Hmm, that's actually not too bad. All said and done. Also, I should have taken the worm instead of the seed, but eh, whatever. Let's see. Because, yeah, brown falcon wouldn't be too bad. I don't think we really need the migrator at this. Well, actually, the migrator, migrator might put in work again, counting towards birds and that, and then we lay some eggs on it. Yeah, actually, we kind of want the migrator. Um, so yeah, let's grab the migrator while we, while it's still there. Yen, you know what, I'm going to spend the egg just because we have uh, birds that need their nests cleared out. So we'll take the wren and then we'll take, um, play another bird, pay its normal food and egg cost. That might be a thing. Because we get that for two rounds, actually. I'll consider it. Ooh, okay. Repeat the brown power is pretty strong. Actually, that's really strong for Brewer's Blackbird. We can do more tuck and lay. That's, that's a two-point action right there. Yeah, I think we, we definitely want that. Lay one on a bull nest bird. Yeah, we don't have any other bull nest birds except for the dunnock, but we need to clear out the dunnock. So we'll do one here. All right, we need, ooh, all right, we can get three fur. All right, so what 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 are, what are what is our, pri our priority here? If we play the wren, if we take food for the wren, play the wren here, and then take more food, we can send it down to the wetlands. Yeah, I think the our pri our first priority is the wren. We are definitely going to pitch one of our birds. Probably the cuckoo is not going to be around. We're not going to. It's been deprioritized to the point where it's not going to pay off. And we get oodles canoodles of, of nectar because it's there. Might as well. That'll boost our nectar scores. 
you know, we'll dump a whole bunch of nectar in the in the uh, um, forest. Ooh, free um, more nectar. Don't mind if I do. All right, yeah, Buick's Wren, pure nectar. Um, yeah, we want to, let's clear one off of the Blackbird. Because, yeah, we do want to get the yellow hammer down. Now, granted, the yellow hammer requires that we lay, we take all of our, all four actions. And, okay. Hmm, okay. Um, we take the, we take the worm. Because that's something, uh, all right. So what, ha what actions have we taken? So we've we've taken we've taken birds we've taken food we've played a bird we only need to lay eggs and then the yellow hammer comes online and we need to have enough enough stuff eggs food etc to do that so play hmm so if we take food again yeah we take food again play the yellow hammer lay eggs that trigger that allows the yellow hammer to come online and then we can get the northern mockingbird maybe the yellow the 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 um bird feeder kind of sucks right now though but you know what we'll 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 pitch something we'll get rid of this great crested flycatcher yeah we'll take the one fish re-roll Is that enough? We need a total of four. Because I do want to keep some cards around to... We're going to send you to the wetlands, Mr. Wren. So two seeds. So we do one seed and then one... Yeah, we don't need to sack another card. We're good. We do need to clear out some eggs from the Dunnock so that we have room to obtain the value for it. But first, we do the yellow hammer. Mm, no, you're going to do one seed and one. I don't. I, I think the um, the nectar will stick around for uh, when we play because I'm going to use the, the 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 yellow hammer's ability to drop the northern mockingbird. And I want the extra thing to, to clear the, un, the berry requirement. Clear out a Dunnock. Hey, extra draw from the deck. That'll help our... Ooh! That's an interesting uh, thing to obtain for a final round. We still need to do an, a lay eggs action. No getting around that. Um, I think we're going to pitch our fish to to get our, our extra egg on this. Um, although we can
Yeah, I don't see us getting fish, so we will discard the fish. And then we're going to lay them all up here as much as possible, except for the Dunnock. Tuck a card from our, yeah, we tuck the Great Crested. Oh, is there something that we actually want? Discard if one and two. Nope. We're, we're filling up the grassland anyway, so any grassland plays isn't going to work. European Turtle Dove's an interesting one. We can drop that in the grassland, the gra the forest, or the, well, no, it's too late for the, for the water, but we can drop it in here. It'd give us one extra egg, but it gives us a new bonus card. Oh yeah, we can't do the Eurasian Collared Dove because we're we're playing the uh, Northern Mockingbird. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take the European Turtle Dove. Tuck a card from hand. Black Woodpecker's not gonna make the cut. Now we want to use the yellow hammer's ability first so that we don't lose out on our nectar. And if I mistimed this and I, I, I messed up the rules, then... But I think I remember from my practice games that the nectar sticks around. All right, all of our other bull nests are full. I mean, might as well. Yeah, all right, good. We still have our nectar. Yellow hammer. Play another bird. There's another bull nest, too. Um, I wish I had checked how many. So actually, hang on. I'm gonna need to see how many um, grasslands actions our opponents took. You took three. You took one. So we're gonna get three eggs, which means when we pay for this, we we um, we burn one egg here, and then we can burn one from the blackbird. Griffin Vulture gives us the two. Pure value. Dunnock, we know, is going to give us three. Calculated. Lay them all. And then the Golden Eye, we get three. Calculated. And we dominated that. All right, we're going to need to take one more action down here to send the wren up to the forest so that we can lay eggs on it and have it count towards that. Also, just to give us some more card fodder for repeat playing the... Uh, yeah, now, now this isn't so bad because we can dump them on the Mockingbird. Ooh, extra food. I will be playing at least one more bird. Yeah, we need extra cards to feed the repeat play. I mean, I might not even play a bird. I might actually take the extra card with uh, with the nectar here. European Turtle Dove. I mean, it's a nice play. I'll give it that. Yeah, you know what? I I won't I won't burn the the nectar. We'll we'll see if we can get some extra stuff. I don't want to take a food action. But then again, it still might not. Depends on the bo the bonus that we get. Yeah, actually, that's not a good value proposition. So I think I will actually take the extra card here with the nectar. If I somehow get two more, then I'll use it. Um, none of these really work out for us. So we're just going to blind draw. Maybe we'll draw into something crazy good.
No, not really, but we just need um, we just need fodder anyway. Eh, nice, but too late. Yeah, then I think we just spam uh, egg lay unless we get... And there's there's the greed. I should have kept I should have kept it, because then we could play that that thing. All right, well let's get the egg lay going. Four eggs, um, eggs in forest. One, two, three. I do need to burn some eggs from the Dunnock though, because it's going to refill itself. Um, what do we got down here? Mallard needs some eggs. And that's going to be the Brewer's Blackbird. And yeah, we know we can't do that, so tuck and lay. Tuck. Yeah, too little, too late. Lay a bird egg, tuck and lay. Oh! We are full up on eggs for the blackbird. I mean, I'll still tuck the card. We just don't we just don't have room for for the lay part. Food? Of course not. And I really need to play another bird, so I'm actually going to do the take food here. I'm not going to send, I'm not going to move the Wren. I really should have kept that because then we could, we could play our uh, Turtle Dove just fine. Because then we take food, we play birds, and then we do one more egg lay. At the very least, we can get two more nectar down here. Nope, not moving you. You need to stay up here with your eggs. Because that'll let us burn a couple of the Dunnox eggs so they can, we can get some value to refill them. Sheesh. We are bursting with eggs here. Actually, we need to burn one egg from the blackbird too. So one from the Dunnock, one from the blackbird. Oh, uh, consecutive birds with ascending or descending. Well, we lucked into three points from that one. It, it's a little bit late for us to do anything about it, but I'll take it. Um, so drawing card, laying eggs, the only one that really gives us anything, um, even though we're like kind of bursting with eggs, but we'll do lay an egg. And um, actually, heck, we can just lay it on the turtle dove since that's eggs in forest. And now we got 10 more eggs, so one more, one more good one. And we'll just take that. Doesn't really matter at this point. Wait a minute. Our um, yellow hammer is going to trigger, which means we need to make sure we have enough room to play something. Um, shoot, I should have taken the nectar. Damn it! Um, because, yeah, the peregrine falcon nectar would have gotten us there. God dang it. Ah, uh, 
I completely forgot about the yellow hammer. Although, no, we might have a chance to swap out to a better bird that we can actually play. Not in the not in the tray though. Yeah, I think I might re use the Mockingbird to repeat the yellow, violet, green swallow to try and get a bird to give us, let us dig deeper uh, on the deck. All right, we can go one, two. We know it's going to get one more here. Yeah, we're going to repeat that. Tuck a, uh, tuck a card. Oh, that's perfect. Oh wait, play play a bird. It's another play, it's a chain play a bird. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, I mean, I'll I'll use it. Maybe we'll get another one. All right, we tuck. Yeah, the lorikey. <laughs> not sneaking that one in as much as I'd like to this would be a fantastic final play yeah but that's a fish and a rat and that there's no getting around that all right I hope I hope I get um, I get one more food because then I, that might make the falcon work. Maybe. Doesn't look like it. All right, play another bird, pay its food and egg cost. That's Gold's Finch. And we will pay it from the Dunnock. get two there oh yeah two is perfect dominated that one I can't believe I I, I we could have had the Falcon with our final play we could have had a final play. That's the new yellow power. We're gonna have to skip that one. Sadness. All right, not bad, not bad. And fell behind on that one. That's okay. All right, see how we did. Hmm. Oh, did we actually do something with our bonus and not realize it? Yeah, eggs is where we're scoring this time. Yeah, Tuck and Lay is very powerful. We actually got two birds. Which were our two birds? Northern is one. And European. Yep, there we go. There's our there's our two birds that we got. Ah, uh, still mad about we could have had the Falcon. I mean we couldn't have activated it. And then it uh, would have, but it would have been five more points. All said and done. All right, folks. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, Spin Pin Star signing out. See ya.